Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this video for how to make an atomic design system in Sketch we are gonna touch base with organisms and I think our videos are gonna become shorter and shorter or we're gonna have a lot of speed up because the most important bits of atoms and molecules we already covered and the next bits are gonna be almost like a cautionary bits of how to use them and how to distribute, how to maintain, how to adapt and how to collaborate with others to actually make your design system awesome. And so we're again gonna use Sketch because this is where our base for a design system is. If you remember, we started with a few lab experimental bits from this mock-up and we created a lot of different bits already. So now next step is actually creating organisms bit by bit. It, and it really depends what state you are, but let's say, for example, this sidebar element here with all these icons is one of the elements which I would want as an organism. So that's one organism, for example. For example, this type of, like this sidebar shelf with all the molecules inside it is another bit which I would probably want to have as an organism too. So that's another one. Then let's say these chat bits, like this, for example, Pablo asking something in the comment. It's another thing what I would want to extract. And then there is, let's say, the top bit here as well, which you, again, there are just so many different bits, like the header of a chat box. Let me just highlight that is yet another organism. And then lastly, I think another bit which we could go ahead and just make an organism is the top bit minus this underlying header of a chat like so. So as you can see, we are going to have basically one variation. So at least one variation of a chat. So one organism, two, three, four, five big ones, which are basically then going to become our constructive blocks, which we can assemble in any way we want to make a bit different templates in the future and then different pages for our product or service we're working on. And so I'm going to start with a header and that's going to be a perfect example for this video of how it would approach the organism construct. And as you can see, we already have, let's say, a background element. However, it's a static rectangle. I could just make a copy of it. And it would be okay to just switch the color as they need to go forward, but it wouldn't be dynamic. So if you remember in our atoms, let's say if I go back, we have these colors already defined and we're looking for this blue slate color, which is in symbol. I would just go ahead, if you remember from my videos, I would insert a symbol, an atom, color, primary, blue slate, like so, let's say and I could even transform it like so and use the underlying rectangle just as a mask. So let's say I would, I could just right click it, mask it and boom. Now I have a, you know, a big object here, but I can go ahead to that rectangle and I could just swap a color to let's say black or violet or any other. If you remember, we had so many different colors predefined from atoms like so. And so that gives us a, a immediate atomic design flexibility to that use the design system to full extent to swap it immediately once the atoms are updated. So if I would go now into my atoms, let's say, and I would find that uh, this magenta color, I could just go in and just update that. And immediately every instance would update together with that symbol we used. But let me just go back really quick and just use the dark slate. Or wait, it was actually the blue slate, like so. Now, as you can see, this is gonna be our molecule. I, I could already just right click and you know convert to a symbol to make it a molecule. But in this case, I'm just gonna hold off and just gonna make a molecule out of, let's say, this and these two page states, like so. And it's just an example. As you can see, the icons are already defined in my symbols, but they're not what I would want. I would want them to be in my structure for atomic design. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just tell it, I'm gonna create a one atom icon arrow left active, let's say. It's up to you how you wanna frame it. That's how I would do it immediately. And it's just because it's also a hasty tu tutorial. So, you know, we might want to spend more time red 
inactive and then you can go into atoms and make it more and then i'm gonna select all three and then gonna make a big molecule and immediately i also saw that we have another molecule as you can see defined from previous video which is that search bar up there if you remember we definitely created a molecule out of that so i can just literally grab it put it down there as long as the pixels match you know so it's centered and everything is all right and next i can go ahead and just create an atoms out of these bad boys so that's let's see done um as you can see there was some sort of mismatch with that border on the other one but that's totally okay we can leave that and that's going to be one our molecule for avatar and we can also just group them all together with the acme thing down below as well let me just port it into our new organism like so i could create an atom from both of them and then i could also merge even these two together if i want to into like an organism already it's really up to you how you want to do it as you can see, I'm still aligning it a little bit up by eye, but it's okay because it's just a demo. And then I can go ahead and just create again atoms out of it. So atom. You're gonna see that we already have a lot of different molecules here defined. All we have to really do now to take it to the next level, as you can see, I have this bit in separate folder. I even called it an organism. And now the last bit, then you make an organism out of your atoms and then stepping up to molecules and then to organism is just to simply right click, create symbol, organism, and then you can say top bar or something like that. Boom. Once that's done, you're going to have that in your organisms. And if I go and pre-populate it so saying, let's say, let's call that navigation blocks or something like that, then I can just go ahead, insert a new symbol into it, top bar and just place it. And I'm going to have my first organism defined. And then you can imagine if we go forward into, let's see, templates, I can just take this organism, put it in. And if I need to update, I can just go back and deconstruct it, updating atoms directly and everything would be affected and rolled out to every single block across. So that gives us really good flexibility to take. Now, to finalize this, I'm going to go ahead, you know, before you go crazy and I'm going to create every single organism I talked about in the beginning. So let me just speed this thing up and just create it really, really quickly so you know exactly what's going on. And boom, as you can see, I converted most of the patterns, which are, we can then replicate going forward. We can create different templates, different pages. And so I covered most of it. Now I have a construct, I have the blocks, which I can use making the new, new templates for new pages, new functionalities, hack it, update it, maintain the system. And you know, as more we are gonna progress, the more it's gonna make sense, but already you should have a good understanding how atoms translate to molecules translate to organisms and then how you can flush it out and how you can make amazing type of products and screens which are easy to maintain and which are easy to hand over to developers and save you so much time so if it's useful leave a comment down below leave a like share us if your friends who would find it useful within your team let's say maybe it's a small team you're using sketch it might be perfect for you and as per usual i'll see you next time